Hey you guys, how are you? Happy Tuesday. It's gotten cold here where I live again, so I'll just be live from my sauna today. I'm just getting a little toasty. Um, and I wanted to talk to you today about something that you can do and that if you do this consistently, you will absolutely give yourself a raise. And that is to offer people ways to spend more money with you, to offer them upgrades and upsells. And to have those things available is one thing, but to consistently have a way that you offer those to people that feels good to you and feels good to them and even is automated in your business will make a huge difference, you know, because a lot of us can have, you know, maybe we have a list of upgrades or a list of other things people can buy. But if we don't really offer that and offer that in a customized way to our customers for their needs and wants and what they're looking for and going through at the time, you know, then it's just something that's on our website or something that's on our our menu or, you know, sitting somewhere. We have to be, really be proactive about offering upgrades, but be proactive in a way that isn't like, I'm just offering you this <laughs> so that you'll spend more money. We want to do it in a way that's really um, meeting the needs of our customers and our clients. So really thinking like, okay, do I have anything extra that would help this person today? And if so, not being shy about offering that to them. And so there's a lot of ways to kind of develop your systems and strategies for offering upgrades and upsells really consistently and getting more comfortable with doing that. Um, and so, you know, I'm always preaching about consistency, but to me, that is one of the most important things we can do to see results in our business, whether we're being consistent with our marketing, being consistent on watching our outflow of money, being consistent with um, giving great service and being consistent with offering the next step or something that we have available that's going to help our clients and customers. And so for this reason, I am hosting a brand new seven day challenge. It is only $7. I'm really excited about it. And it is called the, well, now I don't remember the name about it, but it is in the link. It is the seven day um, upgrades challenge. Oh, I had such a cute name for it too. Where did that name go? <laughs> if you see it, type it in the comments for me. Um, it's not unapologetic upgrades. It's, um, anyway, I'll just call it easy upgrades for this minute, but it has a little bit of a better name. So my upgrades challenge is starting on April 3rd. And the first thing we're going to do is figure out what all of your upgrade options are because they absolutely do not have to be fluffy spa services. And I think that's sometimes what um, wellness professionals and service providers, that's the first thing that we think of. And of course, some spa stuff is great if that's your jam and your cup of tea, but you do not have to offer that for your upgrades. There's all kinds of other options and we're really going to brainstorm the options and come up with, you know, your four or five go-to options that you can kind of have in your back pocket at all times to offer when it's appropriate. And then we're going to talk about when is it appropriate to offer upgrades and how to really build up consistency with yourself, with becoming a natural at upgrading your clients. And then also, we're also going to look at places in your business and your, you know, customer process and journey where they can have opportunities to upgrade themselves. So there's all kinds of places, you know, you've got confirmation emails, you've got um, your voicemail, there's all kinds of places you can add 
little plant little seeds about the fact that you have upgrades for people. Now I found in my spot that when I consistently offered upgrades about one out of every four or five customers, um, clients said yes. So by offering upgrades nearly 100% of the time, there are definitely times where it's not appropriate and you then you wouldn't offer one, right? So, but if you're consistently 80 to 90% of your clients offering upgrades and then making an extra 15 to $25 on 25% of the clients that you see, just do the math, crunch the numbers because it will add up to um, a few hundred a month. And that few hundred a month adds up to a few thousand a year. And it's definitely well worth doing, especially when you're just helping your customers to get better results and feel better. So um, check out the upgrades challenge. Jump in on that. We are going to be together in a Facebook group for seven days and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited about it and I hope to see you there. Bye.